Good morning, everybody. My name is Noelia Orna, head of MAPRA Peru PMO. Today, we will be presenting our company and our PMO. Luis Rios will be in charge of the presentation. Good morning. The agenda today is composed by six main topics. Our company, history of PMO, a structure, objectives, results, and next steps. Let's start with our presentation. Who we are? MAPFRE is a global insurance company doing business in the five continents. It is the referential insurance company in the Spanish market. We are the first multinational insurance group in Latin America and one of the 10 largest insurance groups in Europe. MAPFRE has over 37,000 employees and 37 millions of clients around the world. MAPFRE Peru is an insurance company which provides life insurance, general insurance, healthcare, mortuary, and cemetery. MAPFRE's vision is to be the most trusted global insurance company. We are the third biggest insurance group in Latin America and we are the general insurance, insurance leader in the region. We are a multinational team that works to constantly improve our services and develop the best relationship with our clients, distributors, suppliers, shareholders, and society at large. In addition to this, MAPRA has more than 4 million insured people, more than 300 offices in Peru, and more than 3,500 employees. In 2018, we reached the 16th place in the great place to work. Currently, our PMO is composed of a team of PMO managers and project managers. You can see them in the image. Now, let's review our PMO history. In 2014, IT project control was performed with the in-house SAR software. Projects were registered in this software and the control was carried out by just one person. During this time, we didn't have a standard methodology for project management. Besides, there was no role such as the project manager. Every project was developed by the functional analyst, who focused more in the product management without caring much for the project management. In 2015, a Spanish global PMO begins to teach in all the countries the new unified methodology of MAPFRE, MUM, in its first version, giving guidelines for project management. It is during this year that project control was still carried out through the in-house SAR software, and alongside it, the implementation of corporate tool clarity was started all over the world. In Peru, we started trainings in the methodology and the tool. Nonetheless, the functional analyst focus was still on the product management. But due to these changes, MAPFRE IT direction saw the necessity to have a new role for project management, which would ensure the MOOM methodology compliance. In 2016, IT Direction accepted budget to have a three-people PMO team. This team had the following roles, Head of PMO, Demand Manager, and Project Manager. In addition, during this year, the Corporate Tool Clarity began to formally function. Also, our corporate released a new version of the Moon methodology for initiatives and project management in Clarity. We began a pilot test project with a project manager. It was a time of changes too, as functional analysts began leaving SAR software behind and started to adapt to the new corporate tool. PMO faced a great challenge trying to change the people's culture to embrace these changes. In 2017, SAR is no longer in use and all the projects are managed in Clarity. 
As part of PMO good practices, trainings were undertaken to reinforce MOM 2017 and project managers hiring through factories started. This was a crucial point because with the help of project manage management specialists, the importance of using the methodology and follow the corporate guidelines were shown. Starting this year, Global PMO began a close follow-up to the indicator's compliance. During this year, Peru PMO comes in touch with the PMO value ring methodology and it starts using some of its good practices, like identifying the needs of our stakeholders through surveys to determine our functions as PMO to deliver value and contribute to the benefits of the stakeholders. In 2018, as the IT direction notices that the PMO is generating value to the area, it is decided that PMO will aid the strategic planning area managing non-IT projects. The following graph has as objective to show how we have evolved in time and how we have adapted in different situations and changes. From 2014 to 2016, we were a control PMO because in 2014 the development of projects had a developmental approach but not a management one. As we have mentioned, project control is carried out in the SAR tool, which is a local software and here we had a total of 116 projects. We did not have project managers and we had 15 functional analysts who were responsible of managing the projects. Also, a formal methodology did not exist regarding project management. In 2015, project control kept using SAR tool. We had a total of 136 projects. For this year, we did not have the position of project manager yet, but the number of functional analysts increased to 20. In 2016, project control kept using SAR tool, but in parallel, clarity is used and we had a total of 278 projects. This year, we already had one project management for a pilot project and we still had the 20 functional analysts. In addition, project management kept developing with the use of Moon methodology. One of the benefits of working with projects in Clarity is that we have a clear view of fulfillment indicators. In 2016, we had a fulfillment indicator of 83%. In 2017, project management is carried out in Clarity and SAR ceases to be used. Here we had 475 projects. We already had three project managers and the 20 functional analysts. Moon methodology was already known by, by all our functional analysts and project managers and we had a fulfillment indicator of 87.8%. In 2018, Program and project management is carried out in a 100% through Clarity. We had 350 projects, 12 project managers, and 20 functional analysts. In addition, management is carried out with Moon methodology, and we had a fulfillment indicator of 93.6%. As we can see, we have evolved from a project control PMO without any project management methodology to having a team designed to the management of programs and projects with the aim to give value to our user areas. If we review our evolution initially, projects were carried out by functional analysts who were responsible from the beginning to the end so that meant gathering functions in one role, in one person only. Therefore, in 2015, 
a role of project manager is suggested with the support in the compliance of the requested standards by the corporate map for Peru. The functional analyst could focus on demand and expectations of the business units and exploiting new coming technologies. While there were other roles included to attack some other tasks like the technical specialist and the quality control. There were some new roles for the functional analyst and the project manager. The project manager's functions included manage assigned projects and tasks following PMO guidelines, work with corporate reporting tools like Clarity, measure the necessary resources, functional analyst and technical specialist, and the new functions of the functional analyst were to transform the request into functional and non-functional requirements to know our application functions, their models, and the interfaces between them, and to define the technical design together with the technical specialist. Since 2017, as we have all the projects managed by Clarity, PMO could fulfill the following functions and services. To manage and of the resource and providers, give project support, follow-up and risk and cost control, manage and control changes, follow-up and project control, ensure quality of information and processes, keep methodologies, tools and standards, and manage portfolios. Regarding our organigram, this is the last update to 2019. As observed, PMO is a functional and belongs to the Director's Office of IT and Processes. PMO reports to the Subdirector's Office of Government of IT and Economic Control. It is also important to note that other sub-offices, such as Vertical Solutions, Core Solutions, Support Solutions, among others, are where functional analysts have a project manager role and they carry out projects under guidelines established by the PMO. Currently, Peru's PMO is composed of 16 people, 4 PMO staff and 12 project managers. All the members of the PMO team are certified PMP, which is a mandatory requisite at Manfred because our methodology is based upon the PMBOK guide. In addition, 80% of our members are certified Scrum Masters. Among the 25 functional analysts, also called managers, who are part of other teams, there are three certified PMPs and six certified Scrum Masters. It is also important to mention that the top management executive, executive consider working with experienced and certified professionals a great asset for the company. Therefore, MapFray is investing in training for all IT and processes personnel. During April, we have had an in-house training in Agile methodologies. That is an example of the training we are having. The career path. Currently, we don't have an established one. Nonetheless, due to the importance PMO is taking in the organization, this year we will present the top exec executive with a proposal of career path for the PMO. The first level in this path would be a PMO intern. The profile would be students in the last cycles of IT careers, like system engineers or similar. In Peru, interns work only 30 hours a week. The next, the next level is to hire a PMO assistant. For this role, the person must have finished his or her studies and must have a minimum six month experience working in a PMO. The next level would be a junior PMO analyst. This person must have an IT career bachelor's degree 
and one year of minimum work experience in a PMO. The following level is a senior PMO analyst, and to achieve this position the person must have a career degree, at least two years of experience and some certifications like PMO CP, PMO or Scrum Master. We want to suggest a new role to the project's analyst. This, this role would directly support the, the project manager and there would be two levels for this role, a junior and a senior. Last but not least, the functional analyst could also apply to be part of the PMO team. To achieve this, we suggest that a senior functional analyst who has the required certifications should apply to be a member of the PMO. All the mentioned roles could apply to the PMO managers, project managers and scrum masters. As we mentioned before, this proposal will be sent to the IT direction this year. PMO's community. The community is made up of a set of areas that work as a team with the PMO to achieve the objective of the company. The main areas are the following. Operations, technical, control, commercial, and IT and processes itself. In addition, PMO is related to other areas like legal, compliance, human resources, inner audit, among others. Project Management Community. Its goal is to provide the project team with tools that help in the management and collaboration in all kinds of projects. Gantt diagrams, topic threads, task manage, management, etc. In addition, users can have a look at the project status and latest information. Now we will present our objectives, values and our mission as project office. Since 2017, we have elaborated our mission and vision, taking into account some of the best practices established by the PMO Value Ring methodology. Our mission is our highest priority. We are the project office of the information technology and processes area, and we identify the needs of our stakeholders to provide the necessary services to achieve their strategic and operative objectives. To accomplish our mission, we uphold the following values, ethics, innovation, responsibility, and commitment. In addition, our vision is to become a corporate project office, which defines its services based on the, need, on the needs of our stakeholders, to add value and obtain the expected benefits. We will now mention our objectives as PMO. To comply with our business needs, the first step to achieve this will be to identify its main needs. To help the direction with a decision-making process aligned to the strategic objectives. In order to develop projects that add value to the organization to optimize and monitor the capacity of shared resources between projects, to know the resources capacity and assign them in the most optimal way possible, to ensure two-way communication between IT and processes area and business units. This objective is very important because it's about the relationship we have with all the areas within the organization. To reinforce Moon One methodology for project follow-up, to define and manage project indicators, and to generate a project knowledge base. PMO's service catalog. We will describe our functions. We would like to state that these functions are born due to the needs of our stakeholders. Demand management. This function is very important at MAPFRE because as the insurance market changes, 
there are ideas and initiatives that are, that are born that need to be described in order to become projects. As PMO, we follow our internal procedure, which basically consists of coordinating with the strategic planning area to analyze if the idea is accepted or rejected. Portfolio management. Since 2018, we have started working together with strategic planning to support and involve more in the management of portfolios. If we consider the services maturity level is not high, we know then that the importance of some, such function, therefore the next steps we will see a proposal related to this topic. Management capacity. Based on our control dashboard of PMO, the one that is updated to the week is updated weekly, we could know each resource task and with this information we can give immediate response to any new project. In addition, the control dashboard helps us to have a balance of projects between all the project managers and functional analysts. Methodology and tools. During the last years of the PMO, it has provided training about project management methodology of MAPFRE and about the updates and in the improvements that are being incorporated. Likewise, we offer trainings in the tools that are being incorporated to MAPFRE. For example, this year, JIRA will be implemented. To us, it is essential to share this information and to make sure that everybody understands it. For this 2019, we prepared an internal training calendar, which will be shared with all the system personnel, and we will also include the strategic planning area. Management of providers. For this function, we have a meeting calendar with all our IT providers. In these meetings, we revise the following project status, approvals, invoices, services improvements, etc. Project management. This function is delivered through the guidelines that Map for Project Management methodology gives us. Ongoing improvements. We carry out monthly work sessions with our PMO team to gather good experiences in order to share them and experiences that are not that good with the aim to find a better solution among them. Now we will describe our results. Taking into account the functions that we, as PMO, deliver, we expect to contribute with the following benefits. Better definition of priorities, a more accurate time and cost estimates, and easier access to project progress. This benefit is very important for our stakeholders areas because it is necessary to know the project's process, to know if there is a risk or a block. Likewise, in MAPFRE, there is an incentive policy for fulfilling projects and therefore the stakeholders do require at this point. Greater availability of resources competent in project management. It is part of our training plan to deliver a service of high, highly qualified professionals in the management of projects. And finally, a higher motivation and individual commitment. With the help of SWPMO value ring, we are focused in the functions presented before. We obtain a 78 percent of adherence to the expectations of the stakeholders. We have identified our main stakeholders, which are management, PMO members, and users. In this graph, we observe the perception of time value, that is to say the perceived value through time. Since 2019, PMO 
will display different views of the project's results. For example, there are projects that are part of the corporate strategic initiative which have a follow-up by this entire portfolio to make a report to our global PMO. But we will also show other views displaying the results of each of these initiatives to the corresponding corporate person in charge. Other views display the whole portfolio of Peru projects, including local strategic projects and those that are part of strategic initiatives. In Peru, we also have local initiatives which can include projects from Peru strategic planning and projects associated with corporate strategic initiatives. These different project views allow, allow us to display the results and, at the same time, analyze and make decisions according to the needs of our main stakeholder. All this information and views are obtained from the Clarity Corporate man Project Management Tool. In any PMO, it is mandatory to take a moment to analyze and measure the impacts, repercussions, and return of investment every action has had throughout every year of management and follow-up of projects managed by the PMO. It is useless to take actions without knowing if these have been effective or if, on the contrary, they haven't had the expected impact. As part of the level of maturity we are achieving, we have implemented two fulfillment indicators that are helping us to have a better view and manage our project's portfolio in a better way. These indicators are planning fulfillment and a satisfaction level of our users in projects development. During 2016, the first indicator, as seen in the image, had a very low level, reaching only 81% of compliance in December. We conclude that nearly 20% of our projects were delayed beyond their planned finish date. Nonetheless, after hiring project managers, this indicator rose in 2017 and leveled off by the end of 2018 with a 95% of planning compliance rate. The second indicator ensures the satisfaction of our users during the project development. When it was first measured in 2016, the indicator varied from 55 to 66% of satisfaction. Afterwards, in 2017, the satisfaction level increased dramatically thanks to the involvement of the users by keeping them informed about the progress made weekly and the project risk that are that may arise. Now we will talk about our next steps as PMO. The first one is the innovation. MapFre Open Innovation is a platform to become leaders in InsureTech. In MapFre, with our commitment to innovation and with the client as our focus, we would like to play a main role in this new digital area. We need to start by describing a very important aspect. Innovation has always been one of MAPFRE's main strengths. If in the last decades this company has become the company that it is today, it is because many years ago we were able to offer great services to our clients who were satisfied and who did not find any competition. We managed to achieve this by improving processes and introducing concepts which are now in such as insurance as a service or client's experience, and we kept improving many years ago. We know our clients' needs beforehand. We integrated solutions and we created efficient processes 
that increase our clients' level of quality perception. We innovated before innovation became a trend. How to achieve this? Regarding strategic innovation, we will work in short-term solutions aligned to the challenges which are part of our strategic initiatives of MAPRE. With regards to disruptive innovation, we will build a model in relation with external agents to promote MAPRE's transformation. With an adequate balance of new technologies, business adaptation and client focus. During 2018, MAPFRE organized an innovation competition where Peru got the second place and the presented project will be included in the 2019 strategic plan. Hybrid project management from this year 2019 to 2021. This year, we will begin carrying out projects using Agile methodologies. MAPFRE has established its own Agile methodology called MUM Agile. It is a complement to the current management methodology MUM1, which uses a traditional project management methodology. Most of the projects developed, to be developed this 2019 will still be carried out under the traditional approach but there are some projects that have been chosen in order to be used as pilot to the application of MUM Agile. Therefore, we will be using both methodologies this year. In addition, we are working by choosing some good practices from the Agile methodology in order to use them as tools during the development of projects with that traditional approach. The project day. In the project day, we work on some topics. The first of them is the shared knowledge. In these project managers share their experiences in, their, in project management. The knowledge obtained during the execution of projects or from external source, sources such as courses, articles, videos, or any other source of information. New practices. Choose a new procedure and carry out presentations or discussions about it. This presentation should be led by any of the participants, either thanks to their knowledge or experience in the matter, or because they have a great interest in it. Evolution of project management in MAPFRE. This is where we display the project management maturity level in the organization, considering Peru both in the regional and global scope. Then we have the agile and digital transformation. Here we show the new practices updates in MAPFRE that MAPFRE is implementing regarding these subjects as part of its its strategic initiative, the Digital Challenge. It is complemented by the experiences of the participants in the projects associated with this initiative, and also with those who have a greater knowledge in the subjects. And finally, we talk about the learned lessons. This is where the participants present their more relevant learned lessons that they consider have had a major impact in the project or in the organization. To sum up, we have presented Manfred Peru PMO. Then we moved on to describing our PMO history. We detailed our structure and objectives. And finally, we presented our results and next steps. Thank you very much.